Well, welcome back for the next video. This thing is number four in the series. Now, in the first series, uh, briefly mentioned a screw cumber, and I've had inquiries as to what that is. This is the piece of kit that we're talking about. About five centimeters in length, made of stainless steel. Very simple device. Principle behind it is that it adds a little bit of weight to um, cucumbers, courgettes, any any vegetable matter that you want to put into the tank. Now, all I've done here, taken a similar sized piece of cucumber which some people slice it into very thin uh, strips depends on the size of your fish but all you have to do with this screw it in straight up the middle you can go in through the side it's not really a problem one way or the other that's it ready to go let's go and pop it in the tank so here we are at the tank just dro dropped it straight in sunk to the bottom and uh, clown barbs are straight onto it as I was saying yesterday anything that goes in the tank they're usually the first fish to find it you can put, as I say, courgettes, the screw cumber can go in through the side, it doesn't really matter. All you're using it for is a weight, it just takes it to the bottom. It uh, allows a little bit more purchase for the fish when they're trying to break the cucumber up, as opposed to leaving it loose. They will eat it off the top, um, it just takes uh, much longer, and of course there's a chance that if it's in silly big pieces that it may well go across the front of your filters. Now. Uh, others have used courgettes, a friend of mine swears by courgettes, obviously the unpickled variety. Um, and I have another one that uh, uses uh, lettuce leaves, which you can buy a lettuce clip, it's like a bulldog clip with a rubber cup, and that sticks to the side of the glass, allowing uh, your fish to feed on it in that manner. But uh, we'll just watch this for a while, see which fish actively come to it. It's only been in the tank for about 30 or 40 seconds now, and we'll see how it goes. Should last most of the day. Uh, maybe come back to it over periods just to see how the fish have taken to it. Now I've put this in peeled, it's possible to put it in unpeeled uh, it's not going to do too much damage to the tank. The uh, plecos, if you have plecos, certainly appreciate the skin. Now it's, it's quite common if you leave the skin on to just end up with a large green ring at the end about four hours into the uh, day That'll float about in the tank, but the plecos will finish it off at night as they gain more confidence as the light goes out. The plecos should come out and uh, polish off the skin. So leaving the skin on is, uh, isn't a bad thing. You can also uh, leave it in strips, there's no, no problems there. Anything that allows all the fish access to the food. But this uh, probably will be decimated by the end of the day. We seem to get uh, the odd appearance of a loach popping in now and again, but this um, flying fox seems to have taken possession of the cucumber, anything that's coming remotely close is scaring them away. But there's the loach going in through the back now. They'll gnaw through the centre of this uh, cucumber, you can almost see he's, he's about halfway in now, and it's been in the tank now for just under an hour. So. They'll gnaw right the way through, and then once they can actually physically get in, I've seen the tails hanging out from both ends, which is quite entertaining. So, just a little thing for you to have a look at, see the advantages of putting in fresh food, and uh, I hope you found it informative.